because you think, what if I sell here? And it does this. So you don't sell and it does this. That's what you're afraid of. You're afraid of selling and it doing this. So you hold and it does this. Let's break this down. Why was I even in this plate? Okay, let's start talking. Let's start back at the beginning. So this morning during the call, I talked about mRNA. And one of the things we talked about was mRNA uh, just released their phase two data uh, regarding uh, the vaccine for adolescents. Now, we already have several vaccines for adults, but adolescents are a huge. Oh, my God, it's fucking going. They're 500 apiece. That's big news, right? I like, to, I like to play news, right? So I say, okay, if the market is green or if we have some kind of support there, this is big news because the one thing mRNA had going for them was the fact that all these other uh, vaccines were dropping off. First, you had Pfizer, which was first to market, but was a logistical nightmare when it first came out, right? So that takes it off the table as, as, as a huge moneymaker. You had AstraZeneca, blood clots, yoinked. You had Johnson Johnson, blood clots, yoinked, right? Who became the winner? mRNA. Now, we've been following mRNA for a while. When it dipped back down to 100, we were like, it's a go, right? It's a go right here. It ran 85%. Came back down. This morning, we looked at it because the phase two data for adolescents came out. Now, that's the untapped market right now, right? That's the untapped market. And if they're leading the pack right now for this untapped, vast, just giant uh, money pit, I mean, it's just a pit of money that they're going to fall into if they're first to market with this, that's huge. So I was expecting good movement on them today. Now, apparently a, um, a, a, a report just came out that I saw in chat. Somebody said that they reported um, that they're going to do a single shot dose for India. And if that's true, I don't know if that's true and I haven't confirmed it yet. But if that's true, that's huge for them. And that just popped them right now. Now, what did I take? I took a play on them uh, when they dipped. I was in UAL this morning. And I made a great return and sold right here and then watched uh, watched an additional $3,000 uh, that I didn't get to keep 15 minutes later go. Uh, but I wanted to play mRNA as well. The problem was that mRNA had this, this parabolic, this dynamic move early. And I missed that dynamic move. And then it flatlined. And then we saw it start to curl. So I'm like, okay, it's curled. Then we saw the volume pick back up. We saw the MACD turn. And I was like, okay. This looks like it's about to move again. Volume is still holding. MACD's turning. MAs are about to cross. So I took some calls here and sold them here. Uh, I bought for an average of, I don't know, I guess 260s average or whatever. Uh, and then I sold because I didn't want to get greedy on this. Uh, and then now, because the news dropped after I sold, it just skyrocketed. And because that implied volatility moved up, those same contracts that I sold for $360 a piece just went to $500 a piece. I had 35 contracts, so in a matter of 30 minutes, you can do the math. 35 times uh, 140, and you'll know how much I missed out on. But I made money on UAL, and then flipped it to Disney and made money, and then flipped it to mRNA and made money. So there's not any problems there. It's not like I'm hurting. It's just these guys love to see it every single day. It's the same thing. I find the big winners. I get in them. I make my profit and then it skyrockets, but it does that for a couple reasons. One, you want to be in a play that skyrockets because that means you pick the right play. But more importantly, it's about taking your profits when you have them and walking away with those profits. Because let me tell you something. The one time you do stay in is the time that um, is the time that uh, it, uh, it, 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 it falls. I probably, obviously, if I could have timed it perfectly, I probably missed out on $10,000 today uh, on missed uh, on missed opportunities. Um, from, uh, yep, spy puts or spies killing or getting killed right now. Uh, I missed out on probably $10,000, but I made significantly more. And guess what? If I was still in them, this market pullback right now, I would have lost everything. So what's more important? Oh, also I had, I did take one more DGen play. I told you guys, uh, and that was the one I told you I was going to take, which I'm about to sell here, which was, um, I played, uh, I played UAL, but instead of playing the same equity twice in the same position, I played it to the other side, and uh, I'm profitable on that now. So I'm going to sell those as well. But I follow my rules. I get out, and uh, and uh, I, uh, I I don't uh, I don't like to uh, to mess uh, with uh, with 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 getting greedy because the second I get greedy is the second I lose everything. What made you take that? Oh, you talking about the UAL puts? I told you guys a second ago uh, that we saw the weakness on UAL. We saw the volume starting to die down. We saw the MACD barely cross here and not cross again. Uh, the MAs were crossing to the downside, so I decided to take puts right there.
and uh, I'm up um, I'm up on those right now. Uh, I'm up about a thousand on those, so I'm gonna sell those as well. So I played both sides today. Nothing wrong with playing both sides. Uh, but this market is very fickle and it changes on us very quickly, especially in today's society, especially with low volume, especially with um, with uh, the fact that a tweet can 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 change everything. So I'm very big on taking my my, my profits and walking away. All right, let's sell these uh, UAL puts because if volume dips, I'm going to miss out. So this was just a quick scalp here, 20%. Uh, Quick 20% scalp on this. I didn't make nearly as big of a position as uh, the ones earlier today because I didn't want to um, get caught uh, with my uh, with my tail between my legs in case there was a reversal. Um, so I'm going to sell these now and uh, and then we'll get to marbles. Okay, that way I can be done uh, with this for the morning. So let me go ahead and push out of these here. Stocky, check mRNA. This is why you have green hands. Teach those lessons. If I would have held my UAL calls, I mean, obviously, if I sold them at the top, it would have been great. But if I would have held them, I'd be I'd be red right now. If I held my Disney calls, I'd be red right now. And if I held my mRNA calls, I'd be red right now. If I held my UAL puts, I'd have more money right now. But who knows when it reverses? Yeah, I had a red day yesterday. I made a bad, bad, bad uh, mistake yesterday. I broke my own rules yesterday like an idiot. Wow, UAL is going to fall even more, huh? But that's okay. Make your money and move on. Let the other people have to sweat. Let me put you. Let me put it to you this way: If you don't know if you should sell something, um, what did I have? I had fifty-eight dollar puts. They're at what? I just sold at seventy-one. They, they can't be up that much more, right? Now they're at, fuck. They're at seventy-five. How many contracts did I have? Ninety-five. And now they're at seventy-six. God damn it. All right, so right here, guys, uh, that sell, because it's so dynamic on these options, uh, any any type, if this does do a mini reversal, it'll automatically give up all the gains, and that is why you have to, have to, have to, have to, have to, have to stick to your position and get out, um, and don't focus on chasing, because w in options especially, um, it can change on a dime. I mean, today was like a buffet, dude. Like, oh, I'll take a little bit of that, I'll take a little bit of that, take a little bit of that, take a little bit of that. I'll sell that early. I'll sell that early. Sell that early. It went six for six today. Live. So, you know, I'm happy with that day. And do you know why I'm happy? Because what if I get wrecked tomorrow? At least I'm covering my ass. Because just because you have a good day does not mean... That's why I have people that come here all the time. They go, Stocky, I made 1% today. What if I just make 1% every day? I could do this for a living. And I'm like, bro, bro, I got some bad news for you. I got some bad news for you. Okay, for every 1% day up, there's a 5% day down. Remember that. How much did I miss today? I don't know. Because here's the problem. By doing that, you're going to have to pretend or imagine that you sold exactly at the top. And you never will. You're never going to time it correctly. So, if I would have timed it perfectly, I probably missed out on like 18 today. But... You know, that's just, everybody can play that game in their head of, well, if I didn't sell Bitcoin or Tesla at 200 and I held it, well, I'd have this much right now. No, most people who hold that long are people who forget about it or are just in a cult of anything, right? Sometimes you'll sell at the top. Sometimes you won't. But how many times did you not sell and the goddamn thing reversed on you? Because remember, this is what you, this is, okay, let me, let me show you, let me show you what FOMO looks like. What, what what destroys you and how I, I'm, I'm basically going to show you your life on a on a whiteboard you ready let me show you your trading life on a board this is where you bought and this is where you should sell but you don't sell because you think what if i sell here and it does this so you don't sell and it does this that's what you're afraid of you're afraid of selling and it doing this, so you hold and it does this. And that happens over and over and over and over again, and you don't find success in your trading life until you say, I don't care what it does, because that's fucking money in the bank right there. And for every one of you guys that joke and say, same time tomorrow, Stocky, same time tomorrow, that's what I'm doing. Because you don't have shit until you sell. Look at your positions right now. There's probably something you have that's up a whole bunch. You're like, I've made so much money on this. 
You ain't sold it. You ain't made shit. So when you guys go same time tomorrow, I'm doing same time tomorrow. Instead of the person who, well, I'm not selling, and then it does this, and... And listen, you're gonna make mistakes, you're gonna have bad days. Yesterday? That was me yesterday. Biggest single day loss I've had in two months. Because I didn't follow my rules. Fun fact, today, I made money on UAL calls, uh, MRNA calls, Disney calls, UAL puts, etc., etc. And you know what every single one of these did? They went up more after I sold. But you know what else they did later on? Do you time it? You hope so. But if you sell here... I know it sucks. You're watching it happen. You're watching that money go by. Nobody ever... Everybody's afraid of leaving money on the table. That's the biggest downfall to investing and trading.